My first job this morning was to complete the loom for the headlights and indicators on the front of the car. Now, as with the rest of the loom for the car, this was made in a full mil-spec configuration. When we do a mil-spec loom, there's a couple of aspects which are important, uh, which we're trying to achieve with, with this type of loom. The first is that the loom is a lot more reliable, so that means that it's uh, resistant to abrasion, it's resistant to heat and fatigue, and also completely sealed from moisture. So basically the weather can't get into it and deteriorate any of the connections. The second thing, probably not so important for Nigel's drift ute, but for full-on race cars it is critical. The wire is a lot lighter than some of the conventional wire you'll see in, in most automotive cars, so that gets a lot of weight out of the loom. And when you're talking about a complicated loom, particularly when we take into account data logging, etc., the loom can get quite heavy. So a mil-spec loom will be a lot lighter and a lot more reliable. Now with the headlight loom there's a couple of things that I just wanted to highlight. We've got here a conventional headlight bulb. Now this is what you'd find fitted to, to most common cars and this bulb is rated at 55 watts for the low beam and 60 watts for the high beam. Now that means that there's going to be quite a lot of current draw for that bulb. A 60 watt high beam will draw somewhere around about 5 amps of current. The wiring for the headlight bulb has to be rated to cope with that current draw and you can see the sort of wiring that we've got for the factory bulb is pretty heavy duty. This heavy duty wire is also really really heavy. With Nigel's ute he's actually made the change and he's gone to a LED headlight bulb which fits inside the factory headlight. Now the advantage with LED is there's very very low current draw despite the fact it's probably brighter than a conventional uh, bulb. So with Nigel's LED headlights we're getting a maximum current draw of somewhere around about 1 amp. What this means is that we can drop the size of the wire considerably and we're actually running a 20 gauge wire and you can see here the difference in size. So this makes our loom a lot smaller and a lot lighter. It'll still be totally reliable for the headlights and indicators.